Bend Volleyball has a new head coach. Joni Nagel takes over the helm of the Lady Viking program. Nagy is an Eastern Washington native. She was a first-team all-region player at Spokane Falls Community College and first-team all-conference at Montana State University Northern. Nagy earned NAIA All-American honors her senior year and was an assistant coach for the team in 2014. The Mariners finished off a three-game sweep of the Rays behind some spectacular pitching. M's ace, Felix Hernandez, threw a complete game shutout, giving up only four hits while striking out eight. It's the second complete game shutout for Felix this season and the 11th of his career. Rays starter Chris Archer was terrific going eight innings, giving up two hits while recording 12 strikeouts. But it was the boomstick, Nelson Cruz, giving the M's the lead in the ninth. Cruz launched a three-run homer over the fence, his 18th of the season. The win brings the M's back to 500 at 23-23. and 23. Seattle is back in action tomorrow for a four-game homestand with the Cleveland Indians. The, Se the Seahawks held their first set of OTAs Tuesday. Here's a couple of things we've learned. Coach Pete Carroll has adjusted practice time tempo to make a concerted effort to abide by the NFL's non-contact rule during off-season workouts. Absent from the voluntary sessions were Cliff Averill, Jimmy Graham, and Russell Wilson. All were excused to take care of personal issues. Safety Earl Thomas didn't practice as he continues to recover from off-season shoulder surgery. Thomas and Robert Turbin, who also went under the knife to repair his hip, is expected back for the opening of training camp. Well, the sports world was rocked by arrests at the top of the biggest soccer organization on the planet yesterday. U.S. officials say they have jurisdiction to file corruption charges against FIFA. CNN's Andrew Spencer has the details. Whichever nation hosts the World Cup potentially receives a multi-billion dollar economic boost. Qatar! And the decision to select Qatar to host the World Cup in 2022 has since become a controversial one. The small Middle Eastern country won the right to host the Cup over Japan, South Korea, Australia, and the United States. Officials have been under heavy scrutiny amid allegations of corruption in the selection process for both the 2022 Cup and the 2018 World Cup in Russia. FIFA's Ethics Committee hired an independent investigator, later announcing no evidence of corruption and no reason to reopen the bidding process. But that investigator would distance himself from those claims, and the FBI would proceed with its investigation, ultimately resulting in today's charges. The American television market is one of the biggest for the World Cup, with networks paying billions of dollars for the right to broadcast. For that reason, U.S. authorities say they do have jurisdiction to file the corruption charges. I'm Andrew Spencer reporting. Well, good luck to all the local gals and guys participating on the links at State today and tomorrow. Warden and Moses Lake softball heads to State Friday. State soccer and track and field championships will be determined this weekend as well. We'll be back after this break. <laughs> 